A California burrito is a classic staple of West Coast cuisine, which consists of steak, cheese, french fries, and guacamole, all rolled up into a warm flour tortilla. To make a California burrito, first marinate your steak. In a bowl, combine six minced garlic cloves, half a cup chopped cilantro, the juice of three limes and one lemon, one teaspoon of cumin, and a dash of salt and pepper. Mix well, then place your flank steak into the bowl and coat it with the mixture. Next, cover the bowl and place it in the refrigerator to marinate for at least one hour, but do not marinate overnight. Heat a grill to medium-high heat, then remove the steak from the marinade and season it on both sides, lightly with salt and pepper. Cook the steak on the grill, flipping once, until the steak has reached your desired doneness. Once the steak has finished cooking, remove it from the grill and allow it to rest for five minutes. After it has rested, slice the steak across the grain into thin slices. To make your guacamole, you'll need three ripe avocados, peeled and pitted, the juice of one lime, one teaspoon of salt, half a cup of diced onion, three tablespoons of fresh chopped cilantro, one teaspoon of fresh minced garlic, and one pinch of cayenne pepper. First, mash the avocados in a medium bowl. Then squeeze the lime juice and season with salt. Mix in the onion, cilantro, garlic, and cayenne pepper until well combined. When the guacamole is ready, cover it to prevent it from browning and place it in the refrigerator until you are ready to assemble your burrito. Next, make your french fries. You can buy frozen fries, or you can cut your own from raw potatoes. Space the french fries out in a single layer atop a large lined baking sheet and bake them according to package directions, or at 450 degrees Fahrenheit, 232 degrees Celsius, for 15 to 20 minutes, or until crispy. To assemble your California burrito, warm your flour tortilla by laying it on the burner of a gas stove for five to 10 seconds. If you do not have a gas stove, you can lightly warm it in a skillet or microwave it for 30 seconds. Lay the tortilla out on a flat surface and add your meat cheese of choice, french fries, and guacamole until they cover about two-thirds of the tortilla, leaving one-third empty to roll. At this time, you can also add refried beans, rice, salsa, or sour cream if you'd like. Don't stack your pile more than one to two inches wide and an inch high. If you fill your burrito too full, you might not be able to seal it. To roll your burrito, fold the corners toward the center, then grab the bottom and roll it up. To seal the burrito, try poking the ends in so that they remain tucked. You can seal the burrito by spraying a skillet with cooking spray and browning the burrito on medium-high seam side down. For a crispy burrito, turn it over and cook until golden brown on the other side. The process should take two to three minutes per side. Carefully remove your burrito from the pan and enjoy.